dreamers! I'm back with another Tokyo Disney haul vlog. I'm going to get right to it today because there's a bunch of stuff. It's just going to be Disney stuff that I got from both Japan and Hong Kong. And I'll do my best to let you know where I got the actual stuff. Let's get started! First things first, this Mickey Macaron pillow. This I saw in so many trip reports and haul videos before I went to Tokyo. It, I was talking about this for like years before I got to Tokyo. As soon as I saw it, in the very first store I went to, at Tokyo Disney Resort, bon voyage, saw it, grabbed it, in pink, just the color I wanted. Oh, it is so fluffy. Oh, and speaking of macarons, we have this very special macaron that I got from the Mayhama Disney Store in Xperi. It zips open, and inside we have Oh, Marie just lounging in her cute macaron bed. From the Hong Kong Disneyland Toys R Us, I got this cute chibi Marie plushie. Oh my god, look at her. She's so cute. I know I have like 10,000 Marie plushies, but I just can't resist, and that's why I have 10,000. So, 10,001. And speaking of things that I really, really wanted from Tokyo Disneyland, here we have Gelatoni. Oh, Gelatoni. Gelatoni, for those of you who don't know, is Duffy's cat, just as Duffy is Mickey Mouse's teddy bear. He is Italian and a painter, so of course he has his beret and his tail is actually shaped kind of like a paintbrush because he's painting all the time. Gelatoni, just like Duffy and Shelly Mae, is hugely popular in Tokyo, Di Tokyo Disneyland. And of course, he has a ton of outfits. And of course, I bought a few outfits. Let's take a look. And here we have Gelatoni in his cute 2015 Christmas outfit. At the parks, there was only this Christmas outfit available for Gelatoni. Duffy and Shelly may have tons of outfits, but poor Gelatoni only had one outfit, so of course I had to grab that one right away. And he has to show his Christmas spirit in the parks too during Christmas, not just me. So here he is in his Christmas outfit. And what's cuter than a cat? A cat dressed as a different cat! Here we have Gelatoni in a Marie outfit. Technically, this is a Shelly Mae outfit. As you can see, it's a little bit too big for him. There's holes here for Shelly Mae's ears that he's, his ears don't really reach into because it's too big. But he's a cat dressed as Marie. He loves Marie like me. <laughs> and here we have Yellow Tony in his super cute Halloween outfit. This is my favorite outfit. It's from Halloween 2015. I didn't think I was going to find it, but then I found it at Nakano Broadway, the mall of so if you go to Tokyo Disneyland, you'll see pretty quickly that something that's very popular to collect are these little plush badges. They're like little pins or little keychains that people collect and they layer them all over their bags. So here I have a Gelatoni bag with my collection, my starter collection of these little badges. So I'll just quickly show you all of them. We have Jose Carioca from my favorite Disney movie, The Three Caballeros. Minnie Mouse in a kimono. Christmas Danny the Lamb from So Dear to My Heart. A baby Sleeping Figaro from Pinocchio. Panchito from The Three Caballeros. Marie from The Aristocats, obviously. Gelatoni. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. We have Berlioz from The Aristocats and. Oh, and another Marie, but she's fancy this time. And Toulouse. Unfortunately, the little keychain broke off this guy, but I love these things. So, because we were there at Christmas, and it actually gets a little bit cold in Tokyo Disneyland, unlike Florida, where I'm usually at, they had a bunch of Disney outerwear for winter. So I got a whole collection of Disney winterwear now. First, Mickey Mouse furry fluffy earmuffs. These I have gotten so many compliments about just walking around uh, in Canada where it is also cold and these are also a very good purchase. So pink fluffy furry Mickeys. Next, little Mickey Argyle gloves. It's kind of hard to see because it's so subtle but these actually are little white Mickey heads. And with this, the matching scarf, you 
you can see the pattern a little bit better on the scarf because it's a little bit bigger. Very soft, very warm. Also, the first outerwear I got in Tokyo, this giant fluffy Minnie Mouse leopard print hat. So cute. And this Minnie Mouse beanie with pom-pom mini ears and this really cute little bow. I'm all set for winter. Right now it's July, but I'm gonna be all set. <laughs> Another thing that happens at Tokyo Disneyland is everyone waits hours for the parades. So while we were there, also waiting an hour or more for the nighttime parade, it was so cold sitting on the ground. So I had to go and get a special blanket to sit on. Actually, this is a towel, but it is the Christmas Christmas Fantasy 2015 special edition towel featuring characters from the parade and it says happy Christmas with lots of friends <laughs> next I got a couple of Aristocat socks these were both from Kitty Land. I believe they had a special three socks for a thousand yen or something like that. Um, there are tons of Disney socks, not just Aristocats at Kitty Land, so that is a good place to hunt out Disney, Disney socks. Another souvenir that I wasn't really planning on getting, but which soon became kind of a must-have, were these Tokyo Disney CDs. These are from the shows at Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea. The first one is the to uh, Disney Fantasy Parade, which is the midday parade at Tokyo Disneyland. It just has the track for the entire parade on this CD. Great Christmas listening. And this one, Disney Christmas Wishes from Tokyo Disney Sea. This has the water show slash parade that they have on the harbor during the day as well as the fireworks Christmas lighting show at in the evening. But the parade, Perfect Christmas, that is like my new favorite Christmas anthem. I've listened to this well past Christmas. <laughs> I just love this. I'm gonna be like listening to this forever. It's amazing. <laughs> Next we have this little stationery set. Stationery is a huge deal in Tokyo and Japan, not just Tokyo Disneyland. These little um, cards fold up into little Christmas trees and they come with cute little envelopes and cute little tape for you to decorate it all up. I got these to give to my friends and my family when I got home and write little Christmas messages from our trip because we were there on Christmas Day. Next we have these little Christmas tote bags. They are decorated with Mickey and Minnie as cookies, as well as Donald and Daisy as cookies. Uh, originally I was going to put little gifts in these for friends, but I'm not sure what happened. I ended up with two of them. There's actually three in the set. At least one of them made it to a friend as originally planned. And little gelatoni Christmas ornament for me to share my Tokyo experience on my Christmas tree and always look at him and remember the amazing trip. He's wearing his little Christmas outfit. Next from Tokyo Disneyland are a couple chopsticks. First we have these ones which are shaped like the monorail. I love it because it has the little, little Mickey shaped windows. And next, these two, which came in a set of like his and hers chopsticks. The red are for her and the black for him. And they have Mickey and Minnie on top. And if you face them together, they're kissing. Another thing that happens at Tokyo Disneyland that doesn't happen really anywhere else is the shaped awesome popcorn bucket craze. I admit, this is coming to American Disney Parks a little bit. They're, they're slowly catching up, but it's still mostly Tokyo. This is a Donald ball, as I like to call it. It's got his hat. The little hooks are his feet. He's got his bow tie. And even the hinge is his little sailor ribbon from his cap. Also, the little green men of mochi you can get in this cute little souvenir container. They are in there when you get them. They're delicious, unfortunately. 
So I do collect um, Disney pins. In Tokyo Disney, Disney pins are not really that big of a deal. So honestly, I got a few, but probably not as much as I normally would. Uh, in Hong Kong, they have a bigger selection, but a lot of uh, crossover with the American Disney parks. So first, we have Danny the Lamb from So Dear to My Heart. It was the year of the lamb. So there was a lot of lamb merchandise. Oswald and Hortensia kissing. Hortensia. Christmas fantasy and the Christmas wishes pin. Jose Carioca and Panchito. These guys are a lot more popular in Tokyo Disneyland. I don't understand why they're more popular over there, but they are a couple of my favorite characters, so I can't pass up anything with Jose Carioca. And lastly, a 2016 New Year pin from Tokyo Disneyland. From Nakano Broadway, I found one store that was selling Disney pins. It's Mickey and Minnie dressed up from Mary Poppins, I believe, and it says that's Disneytainment on it. I thought it was really cute. From Hong Kong Disneyland, the Mystic Manor, which glows in the dark pin. It's got Albert, the super cute monkey on it. These are the Hong Kong Disneyland bride and groom outfits on Mickey and Minnie. These two pins feature costuming the costuming department, and they both have little notions on them. This has two little buttons, and this has a piece of trim on them. I made costumes, so I thought this was so cute, and I had to get Mickey and Minnie as costume makers. Here we have Donald as an angel, and Donald as the devil. You can just picture them on one on each shoulder, telling you what you should or shouldn't be doing. Next, the cat set. This is a Disney Parks pin set. Um, you can find this pretty much everywhere. I saw it in California, but Marie, Figaro, Oliver, finally couldn't resist. And lastly, this set of chippies from Hong Kong Disneyland. I guess this is Hong Kong's version of the Fab Five plus Chippendale in chibi form. <laughs> They're kind of cute and kind of creepy. I don't know, but there's something really hypnotic about looking at these. <laughs> a couple of stationary items that I got. This 2016 schedule book. Inside it has all the months and some like papers to write to-do lists. It's covered in cute little Disney chippies, but most importantly, Duchess from the Aristocats. I love Duchess. I got this pencil to write in it. It has sleeping kitties. It's a mechanical pencil. These pens, these are rainbow pens, uh, gel pens, and they each feature different characters from different Disney movies. It coordinates with the schedule book. The blue pen, kittens, plus Lady and the Tramp. Also to decorate my schedule book, these stickers, which have more kitties, more puppies, Bambi, Dumbo, from Hong Kong Disneyland. They had a promotion on where if you bought so much money you could play a game to maybe win a prize, maybe win a buffet. Well, I never won the buffet. Every single time I won these little uh, notepad uh, sticky notes. So there's Duffy, Mickey, Minnie, and the Sleeping Beauty Castle at Hong Kong Disneyland. During our trip, we stayed at the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel and the Hong Kong Disneyland Hotel. And at both, I took all the stuff that they gave us for free in the bathroom because you're supposed to, right? You are. So here's all our awesome free stuff from the hotels. First, slippers. Yes, seriously, these slippers are for you to take and use. These are from Tokyo Disney Hotel. They feature Sorcerer Mickey on them. If you use them, there'll be more new ones the next day. That's how you know they're for you to use and take. A razor. Honestly, in Tokyo, you don't need to bring anything because the hotel will have everything you could possibly need. Like a razor, like a toothbrush. This also has a mini toothpaste inside and you'll get one every single day so you don't, you can use a new toothbrush every day if you want. 
the shampoo, conditioner, and body wash come shaped like the towers of the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel. You notice the lids are the same as the art um, towers. The soap, standard but still adorable. A cup, little plastic cup has Mickey pointing at uh, Disneyland plus the named hotel. This cute little amenity kit, this is actually like a little tin box. I love this thing. Inside it has some cotton um, swabs, hair tie, q-tips, and a shower cap. This is a very handy little tin even beyond what's in this. And a loofah. You can get a new loofah every day, Disney themed, don't need to bring your own. They got you set. There was also a hairbrush, but I used it because I needed it. And some of the free items from the Hong Kong Disneyland Hotel. Very thorough amount of selection. Not as thorough as Tokyo, but still quite a few items that you might need. An emery board. A shower cap. Toothbrush and toothpaste. A comb. Little sewing kit and a cotton pad and swab and if you notice these each feature one of the seven dwarves because they have a seven dwarves motif in the washrooms. So in Tokyo Disneyland we went to Magellan's one night for dinner and I got the souvenir glass with the special Magellan soda. When you get the soda they bring it in the glass but they actually give you a brand new one in a box for you to take home if you choose to go with the souvenir glass. It has um, Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse and they're in Renaissance attire with the uh, coat of arms for the Magellan. Plus it has the logo and the name and it's got constellations on it. It's a very cool little glass. I have it in a display case. From the Queen of Hearts Banquet Hall, this really cute little cup is holding a peach mousse dessert. So it features the actual banquet hall and all the Alice in Wonderland characters are all hanging out, having food. Another character that is exclusive to Tokyo Disneyland is Shandu from Sinbad Storybook Voyage. That is an amazing dark boat ride, not unlike uh, It's a Small World, but it's just amazing. If you see Shandu, he is adorable, and as soon as I saw him, I'm like, okay, now we're going to the gift shop so I can buy all the stuff. Unfortunately, they didn't really have a plushie that I fell in love with. I've seen some before, but at that time, they didn't have a plushie. Just, like, a backpack. But I got what I could. This adorable little Shandu is actually like a feather duster for you to tidy up your house. His tail is uh, very helpful around the house. <laughs> also, I got this box with Shandu on it and he's guarding this treasure chest. Inside was some omiyage. Um, it was little white chocolates, but of course they. The most popular souvenir to get at Tokyo Disneyland is omiyage. It's uh, a little box or container of sweets or cookies or a little cake that you buy and you bring to your family and friends when you've gone on a trip or a vacation. It's a cultural thing in Japan. Uh, you have to really get this every time you go somewhere to bring back for everyone that you know. I decided to partake in this tradition and get a bunch of these little things to bring back for my friends and family as well, as well as for me. They're all in amazingly cute boxes that I'm going to cherish forever and fill with all kinds of things. So let's take a look at those! Um, first, this little container holds some New Year's noodles. It's traditional to eat noodles at New Year's because it symbolizes a long life. And inside they have little Mickey and Minnie heads that are, I think, like, supposed to be like fish cakes. This is what they look like. Next, also for the New Year, are these mochi. This has um, all the characters all ready to celebrate 2016. Max Goof on here. And it's got a very cute decorated box. This is Furikake, um, it's, which is a little packages of flavoring that you put on your sushi rice when you're eating rice. On it has all the different 
rides and landmarks of Tokyo Disney Sea and Tokyo Disneyland. Next, from the Duffy and Gelatoni store, this is a Baumkuchen, which is a German dessert, which is a bunch of different layers. The cake is made on rotisserie, and they make a layer, and then they cook it, and they make a layer. So it's a huge, like, thick layers of cake. Um, I ate it already, because it would have expired by now. But the box is what matters. Gelatoni is helping Duffy and Shelly May decorate for Christmas. And lastly, from Tokyo Disneyland, we have all the characters building snowmen and the gingerbread cookie, uh, Mickey and Minnie, it's, I guess Olaf is building a Christmas wonderland of all his favorite friends. Inside, there is one last cookie, Sweet Christmas 2015, with Mickey and Minnie snowmen on it. This Marie purse from the Marie uh, Cat Collection. I've gotten so many compliments on this. I even had a lady run up to me literally in the Disney store like two days ago to tell me how much she loves my purse and Marie. This is my favorite purse that I have ever got. It was from the Harajuku Disney store. A wallet. While I was in Tokyo Disney, I needed a wallet desperately because the one I had broke. So I found this Figaro wallet at Kitty Land. And lastly, in Hong Kong, my shoes broke from all the intense walking that we did. So I picked up these Cinderella official shoes by Melissa in the Moco Mall. That's attached to the Royal Plaza Hotel where we stayed. It features the butterfly. They are like jelly versions of her beautiful shoes that she wears in the Cinderella live action film. This very cool contraption I got from Kitty Land. It is a charger, a portable charger that you can use for your phone. And this lights up when the battery charge is full. It's the little laugh canister or screen canister from Monsters Inc. Lastly, a couple things that I got for my phone because there's a ton of stuff for your phones there, obviously. This little chain kind of thing is a plug or it goes into your headphone plug, phone jack. And it has the three caballeros on it. Again, my favorite Disney movie. Donald Cantillo and Jose. So cute. Also, they had these little secret collection uh, figures and the rest on top of your phone. This was a blind box. I got Pluto. So they rest kind of like that. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty is adorable and she, her dress is turning from pink to blue from that moment from Sleeping Beauty. Panchito! I can use this when I'm using this jack so that I have a whole theme going on. And lastly, I got the kitty! It is Toulouse from the Aristocats. And there we have it. That is all the Disney stuff I got from my trip to Tokyo Disneyland and Hong Kong Disneyland and all the Disney stores in between. I'm going to do one last haul video in which I show all the anime and Studio Ghibli things that I got plus a couple cultural items that I got. So stay tuned for that. That's all for today though. So see you real soon.